and just to hear um, that a 12 year old has lost their life um, and then we have another one clinging to life that that hurts. Akron Councilwoman Tara Mosley could only look on at the unimaginable scene at South Arlington and 6th Avenue in disbelief. Police say these two cars were part of an afternoon funeral procession for a 17 year old overdose victim. That's when they say this Chrysler tried to make a turn westbound onto 6th, causing a collision that ejected or partly ejected a 12 year old boy who was killed and a six year old boy who was critically injured. They were more memorializing the death of a young man, someone young, and now for this to impact another young person in that same context is, is doubly tragic. Akron police say witnesses told them hazardous driving was a factor with one of the vehicles weaving across multiple lanes and the double yellow center line. But that's not all. The vehicles that the children were in, uh, someone or multiple people were hanging out of the window of that car before the crash. Akron police say it didn't stop there. Seconds after the crash, an argument broke out with at least one shot fired. Police say minutes later, more shots were fired just one block west of the scene. Police also tell us a 19 year old man admitted himself to Akron City Hospital with a non life threatening gunshot wound as a result of the gunfire. Be here having this conversation again about gun violence. Um, it, it, it is problematic in this community and across the city, especially when you start talking about the young people.